Alright guys, so we actually know a lot of people here in Ridgecrest. My parents grew up here. We're just gonna look around, see if we can find anything damaged. Maybe talk to a couple people, get their story, see what happened, and maybe what happened to their houses and stuff. Sin City Outdoor. Alright, so this next house we're going to is actually a friend of the family. You might have seen her footage already on like Fox News, CNN. Her footage was crazy. She was just about to get into her pool and right as she was getting in is when the 7.1 hit and it actually knocked her down to her feet. Her pool's going crazy and yeah, we're gonna come see how she's doing. You're here. How you doing? So we're out here, you guys have probably seen this pool before. It's pretty much on the world news. Uh, some family friends own it. So it's actually pretty cool we're out here. I'm gonna talk to them a little bit. All right, guys, so this is Deborah. This is the backyard where everything happened. This is the viral footage that's going all over the internet. <laughs> and they're gonna let you know what happened here. I was sitting here in the chair uh, when I started to hear the little rumble and then all of a sudden the big one came. And, uh, and this desk was actually starting to bounce up on me. And that's when I got up and started to run down the hallway and realized that my wife was in the backyard and uh, I went out to the door and it was actually kind of hard to open the door because it was still swaying. And then when I finally made it out there, I saw her on the ground. So I was in the pool and I felt it. So I moved up to the top step. And after that, I thought I better get out. So I run over here, grab a towel. And I thought I shouldn't be under this patio cover. So I run back over here, sit down. I start to lay down, then I got back up. I'm trying to text my husband with the phone when all that water comes. And my neighbor popped his head over the fence and said, get in the house. And I'm screaming for Dave and he couldn't hear me. And then finally he went looking for me and he finds me at, out here. And then he helps me in the house as all the water's just going everywhere. So this is the footage that I have. And there's the ripples in, in the, the pool. And then she just now lays down and here goes all the water and it just gets worse and you can see how low the water gets on the side here it's about probably four feet and it's going to get there's a, a good wave right there and uh she's out there screaming right now and i was kind of bouncing off the the walls like this to get into the bedroom and then once I got to the uh, the side door here uh, I noticed that it was kind of swaying and it was a little jammed so it took me a couple of times to open it up and then finally here I she sees me and then I start coming out uh, here in just a second as the earthquake was still uh, going so I assisted uh, her getting up and then we uh, went into the house and you can see the yard is completely flooded yeah this whole backyard was just all full flooded, of uh, flooded water all the tiles over there by the fence yeah it ripped up my tiles mm -hmm. from the tidal wave that came out of the pool it was pretty scary at one point that step was exposed yeah yeah, yeah. from and, the, the and water it's, had it's moved. about this deep. The water moved out of the way uh -huh. and that step was exposed over yeah. there that's a couple feet down yes yeah. e easily it took a couple of thousand gallons. If she'd have been in the pool, there would have been some injuries because that oh, water yeah. was, was going to take yeah. her just like at, at the been, ocean. That would have been a rough ride. So yeah. she could have hit her head or, or broken an arm or something. But thank God we're all okay. But yeah. Everybody in the community is okay. Yeah. So when are you getting back in? In just a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to get in. I'm, I just put my suit on. Thank you well, for the interview also. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah no good luck. Mm -hmm. That was awesome. Yeah, was like, All right, so we're leaving their house. It's so crazy because I saw that on the news and I was like, wait, is that is that Deborah? I'm like, I've known her daughter Julia since I was about 13, 14 years old. It's crazy. It's a small town and, and we're like, let's go over there, see how she's doing, see how her and her husband are doing. And, it's funny because that footage is going viral. It's all over the internet and uh, we got to go in there talk to them and They're happy to tell their story. So we appreciate that that footage literally made world news too Yeah, it made world news. So we're gonna stop by one more spot and then we'll go check out some other stuff, right? Yep
So as you guys can see, this whole wall pretty much fell down. These brick walls right here, things are heavy and they, they take quite a bit to break. But it's weird because when this earthquake hit, it's like some certain areas got hit a lot harder than others. Okay, we the people here in Green Acres Mobile Home Park Estates, we have a lot of trauma in this park. We're going through a lot with trailers shifting, uh, water being shut off due to the fact of broken water pipes. A lot of our trailers are shifting. Mine has shifted a half an inch away from my driveway. Um, another trailer down the way, 34, has crumbled sideways to its side. The lady across the way, Sam, in space 11, her trailer has shifting also. There's a lot of other people that had a, a lot of worse issues going on, and I understand that. And I'm thankful for those that have come up and helped us as much as they can. Well, I'd like to say, I'd like to say this. We've been together as a unit. When that six point four hit, we all came together, was out here on this grass. We didn't run in no shelter because we weren't told to evacuate. I'm but sorry. we we stood together as family. <laughs> we stood together. And then those are here we came together and they show love. I'm thankful for this young lady right here. She's been an inspiration to us. And we gotta reach out and, and help others. And and we're thankful for the Lord for keeping us protecting us because a lot of places got tore up. When, 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 after the 7.1, we was all out here and hit. We put the kids on, on the ground, everybody stood together. But unfortunately, we back, went back to our homes. Our home house was devastated. And we stand, we, we stand together right now and probably give all the glory to God. I'm just thankful for the people we, we got here. We came together to show love. It's easy for people to say, go to a shelter. It's not that easy for us, especially when we're up in the age. I've been in this trailer park for seven years. And I don't have funds just to up and move somewhere. I'm sorry, they're going to get mad at me for saying this, but I feel management should go and check on these elderly people that live by themselves. They're elderly. They need help. They get scared. But I'm thankful that the state troopers have come in and that our Ridgecrest Police Force and our fire department and Kern McKees, they're all standing together and helping us and helping us with water supply. So I want to reach out to you people and yeah. know I thank you fully for your yeah. Come help by. for the people. Yeah, amen, amen. It all comes down to love, compassion. But when you come together as a, as, a, as a unit, we can stand strong and help anybody we can. And I'm thankful for that. Please, people, I'm asking you, those that are in trailer parks, help one another because you have to help one another to be able to go forward. Some are losing more than others. Some are losing completely everything. But stand together, that's where it's at. Yeah. And have faith in your Lord. Yeah. He knows all things and he will protect us. I want to say Thank this for closing. Thankful for you coming by. So like I said this morning, I was praying, I said, Lord, send somebody by here where we can express the unification of the people and the love that they're showing and standing together, not running, but can become combined. And he answered my prayer. I'm thankful for you coming by. Yes, thank you so much. In the name so of much. Jesus. All right, thank you guys. All right, thank you. God bless you. you. God bless you. you. Stay safe, all of you. Mm -hmm. Stay safe yeah. while you're up here, because that big one's supposed to still be coming, they say. I know the last few nights, me and my family has been sleeping in our cars. Our trailer has shifted. All I know is they say there's going to be more, but if there's more, these trailers probably won't stand much longer. Um, people are fleeing town. Yeah, we're actually from Vegas and we saw tons of people headed that way. So do you guys plan on staying here? Yes, we have all our family out here. I'm not going to leave unless all my family comes with me. I hope everything gets better for you guys. Me too. All I right. have four little girls and they're traumatized. You got four little girls. Wow. This is my oldest and that's my youngest. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So we just went through a uh, a community right there. People are pretty shaken up. Would you say so? Yeah, those mobile home communities—they're—they're they're the worst hit. They're not very sturdy, so the damage in those things is gonna be, you know, a hundred times worse than an actual house with a, a foundation, a cement foundation or whatever. We feel the frustration, but I don't know how much can actually be done, like right away with the management or you know the landlords or whatever. You know, because it, it's a lot. It's a lot. Those parks have, you know, say 40, 50, maybe even 100 mobile homes in them. And I don't know what can be done immediately, but they are getting some help trickle in. It's just 
when it's a natural disaster, there's a whole lot going on at once. So we hope that they get help. We hope that, you know, their houses get fixed and everything works out. But you, you go into these communities, you feel bad because, you know, there's a lot that every individual house needs and there's not a whole lot that can be done like right away, so. Like you were saying, it is, it's, uh, it's a lot. It's kind of hard to, to manage it all at once, and especially if they're expecting more earthquakes, and it makes it even more like a tricky situation, doesn't it? Yeah, because in that place, they said the management actually left, which, I mean, you're, you're managing a building, but if you feel like your life's in danger and you have the means to leave, you know, some people leave, and it's, it's uh, I don't know, it's a tricky situation. Pe people won't get stuck and they need help. Other people are trying to leave. We hope that things work out for them and we wish them the best. So it's nighttime now. The earthquakes are happening like tons and tons. We're getting an, a little tiny earthquake right now. A lot of you guys said we should put water or something. It's starting to slow down a bit, but I was literally just saying right now that I could feel the ground moving slightly. And so that water is moving right now, but it's weird. It's like nothing else in this whole room is moving. So like I was explaining in the last video, it's like a real subtle kind of like a, you got to really be here to feel it. It feels like you're almost on like a slow rolling water. It's weird. Almost like a boat is the easiest way to describe it. But they're so small, you can't even feel them. And once again, last night about, I think it was like 10, 14 ish. We had that one that ran through the room. And then just right now, about right around at the same time, about 10 o'clock, we had the exact same thing happen. You can hear it coming, coming, coming. Same exact time, it's weird. It's like right when it starts to get dark, around like 10 o'clock maybe, they start picking up a little bit. But we haven't caught one on film yet. That was the goal, but maybe we will. You never know. They still say that there's a, a really high possibility of a big one, but they extended the warning out for a whole month. So we don't got a month to spend waiting, waiting around for an earthquake. So. Other than that, I really hope you guys enjoyed the footage. We're not going to stay all day tomorrow, most likely we're leaving. But um, other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you outdoors.